Hi, and thank you for joining us today at Tax Talk UK. We're going to look at using social media and how this can help with the promotion of your brand. And before we get on to that, if I could please ask if you could take a second to subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notifications so that you get notified when we upload new content. And that will also mean you can refer back easier to this video if you need to. Social media is a great way to let people know about your brand. Also to be able to engage with your customers or clients and also to find out what's important to them as well as how they make their choices. Social media comes in many different forms and each individual form is known as a platform. You should take the time to learn about each platform, even the ones that you don't necessarily use in your personal life and find out the advantages and disadvantages to your business. And then, and then you can work out which will be the best for your business, how to engage and reach your own um, customers and your target market. Whilst you should probably have a social media presence on all of the platforms, it's really important to understand exactly what each platform is going to do for your own business to help you reach your long and your short term aims. Social media can be very time consuming, so it's really important that you don't waste time um, on activities or on platforms that aren't actually going to um, help your business or help you achieve your short or long term goals in any way. And in order to do that, you really need to understand what you're hoping to achieve from each individual platform and what you specifically need to do to achieve that. Once you've got a little bit of an understanding of each of the different platforms, you should put together a social media strategy as it is important to be consistent with your social media work, not just the odd post here and there, unless that's part of your strategy and what you decide is what's going to be valuable for your, for your individual business. Actually document, documenting your social media strategy will help you to understand exactly what you're trying to achieve and how you're going to go about it but also gives you the opportunity to review this strategy as you learn more about each platform or perhaps as your audience or the actual platform itself changes or evolves so that you can make sure that your time on social media is always spent productively and you don't inadvertently spend a lot of time doing something that won't in any way support or enhance your business. So earlier I said you probably should have a presence on all platforms um, and the reason I say probably is it's really, really easy to set a presence on, on all of the social media um, platforms, but before you do it, you should at least understand the basics of how that platform operates. So, for example, if you, if you set up a presence on a platform that you don't understand, it could be that you're, you're then not able to engage with your um, customers or receive any alerts or messages that they might send to you. This would then give your customers um, the impression that you're ignoring them, that you don't care about, um, about engaging with them. And that will leave them a negative impression that they wouldn't have had if they hadn't have found that platform. So that, that's why it's important, even if you're not going to actively use a specific platform, that you understand all of the basic functions and how to ensure whether your customers are engaging with you or maybe shut off that function if the platform allows and you don't want to um, be contacted in that way. We're going to have a quick look at each of the individual um, platforms, um, but not massively in depth because how you use social media will depend very much on your individual business, but also on your own time availability and your skill sets. There's organisations such as the Federation of Small Businesses and lots of local networking groups. 
that will um, regularly hold sessions that will enable you to enhance and improve your knowledge of social media if you feel that this is important um, for your business or that you're perhaps lacking in um, either the skills or the knowledge or the motivation or where do I start. Um, so these are these are all um, easily accessible and you can actually then enhance your individual knowledge and how that will impact on your um, specific business. If your social media strategy means that um, actually social media is going to be really important um, tool for your for your individual business to to enhance either in the short or the long term and you lack the time or the skills um, to be able to, to to be able to run these yourself you will be able to find um, local coaches that can help you or if you want to outsource the, there are lots of um, lots of small um, businesses that will be able to take on um, that function for you. Um, the only thing that I would say is if you don't know the people, just, you know, ask for recommendations, look at their work, make sure that you are actually going to get value um, from, for, from um, what you're engaging them to do. And as with your own social media strategy, if you are outsourcing, again, you need to regularly review, um, ask for feedback on stats um, to, so that you can ensure that you are truly getting the value and actually it's achieving, um, social media is achieving in your business what you are wanting it to do. Much is the same as when we use social media for personal use, when we're using it for business use, it's important to not get too hung up on what others are doing. Yes, of course, follow your competitors to keep an eye on um, you know, what they're what they're doing, how they're using social media. But in such a way that you learn from what works for them, what seems to engage people rather than actually copying, design your own content, engage your own customers in your own style. And also, as as the same as when we use social media for personal use, it's important to remember that all is not as it appears on social media. So if you're following one of your competitors, for example, and they're always very positive and everything's going very well for them, um, just remember that they're not necessarily going to put the negative, um, it, you know, the negative days on their on their social media because that's not what customers necessarily want to hear about. So if so, don't be disheartened if things aren't as positive for you try and always give that positive um, outlook and find there's always a, a positive that can be found um, to talk about in in most situations and perhaps if you're struggling to find the positive on on a day when you intend to do some um, social media work then perhaps just um, don't 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 actually do the work that day wait till a day where you're feeling more positive and if you find that you um, that you're never able to have that motivation or that positive outlook to to actually present on social media how you need to then perhaps you need to consider either um, engaging with a coach um, or outsourcing your social media to a to a, um, a professional that's able to to give your your business outlook what is needed um, across the platforms so I'm just going to run through some of the um, platforms just briefly, like we talked about earlier, it's very much individual to your own um, business, you need to work out what's appropriate for you to use and how to use it, how you can engage your own customers. Um, and in the description, I'll put the links so that you can actually take yourself off to the platforms, have a little look um, and, and um, see what it's all about. So let's look first then at Google My Business. So this is when, you, um, when you're looking for a company or a product or a service and you go on onto Google and you pop in the search what it is that you're looking for and it comes up with some um, businesses in the area that, that Google has matched to, to whatever your Google search is. And then you can actually click onto the profile um, and find out a little bit more about the business, as well as read reviews um, from other users. 
So um, a first thing to, to mention on this, depending on the nature of your business, you don't have to actually have your um, address displayed. It doesn't need to pinpoint um, to the business address if it's not appropriate um, and your customers don't actually need to know because they don't need to come to your um, location. So I'm aware that that does put some people off creating a listing, um, but you don't, as I say, you don't need to have that displayed if it's not, not appropriate. So um, generally, most businesses would want to have some sort of presence. You would want to come up, even if it's just organic, um, organic results, which basically means um, you're, you're not you're not paying for any um, any boost or any ads or anything. You just um, filters filters through um, so that when people search search that you will have some something, even if it's just your um, business name and a website or a co contact number as a basic. Um, but if you want to, you can actually enhance your listing to have photographs. You can put all manner of information about your business. And again, like we talked about before, it's about understanding um, how your customers are going to be looking for your product or your service and whether, whether um, they would you know, be looking on um, for a Google search and if they did, then um, how much information would they want to see on on um, on that profile? The reason that I say actually most people should have um, a profile on Google My Business, certainly small businesses um, and sole traders, um, which is obviously what what we're aimed at here at um, Tax Talk UK, is that um, imagine for example you have a regular customer. Um, and, you know, they come to use you, but they've lost your contact details, they've perhaps upgraded their phones, so they don't have the same contact, or they've lost your business card. So, so for this reason alone, you should have some sort of um, online presence so that, so that even your regular customers can find you um, if they need to. Let's have a little look at um, Facebook. Um, so Facebook is a social media network. And it is very widely used for lots of purposes, um, for connecting with friends and family, for engaging with um, businesses, as well as promoting businesses, um, engaging with people, not necessarily friends, just people that live in the same area that you might not know, where you can ask for recommendations of, of things that you might need. Um, so a whole sort of multitude of, of uses. So um, on Facebook, um, those that use it personally will know that you have your personal profile um, and, and also you can separately from there um, create a business page, which enables you to separately from your personal profile, showcase your business, engage with your customers, um, give news to your customers and basically keep them updated as little or as much as your social media strategy um, determines that is appropriate for that um, platform. Either as an individual or as your business page, you can also um, engage with other people um, on Facebook by using groups and joining groups. Um, this way you can help develop awareness of your brand, um, look out for people asking for recommendations um, for your brand, um, or, or um, asking for help in areas that, that your, your brand would be appropriate. Um, one word of caution, if you're doing this, it is important to engage with the other group members. Don't just um, join a group and um, once a week or how often the group's rules allow, just um, stick on a post advertising your um, business. People will ignore these. Um, they, you know, they they want to um, learn more about, about things and people that just um, blatantly advertise um, without engaging um, won't have such a, a high uptake on the engagement. So um, do, do try to avoid that. If you're not at, at able to regularly engage with other people on, the, um, on their posts, um, and it will provide recommendations and that sort of thing. Perhaps, you know, look to provide just general information that is, is relevant to your brand, your brand and enhances your brand 
um, but that actually helps people. Um, this will help you to engage more with the other group members and will get a better awareness of your brand ultimately. Turning to Twitter then, um, another um, very popular um, social media network. And much as Facebook, it's used for personal and business use. Um, connect, connecting with others is, um, is less, less personal. Um, you can follow any, any um, Twitter user, either as an individual or a brand, um, which enables you to keep up to date um, with what's going on with them. Um, the key difference is with Twitter, you have a limited amount of characters that you can um, post with or tweet um, accordingly. Um, so this means that you have to be really um, concise if you're tweeting, you want to get the key message in. Um, although you can include links um, to maybe a blog or to your website, um, images, um, etc. Um, in there. But, you know, again, a really good way of um, following what other people are doing and um, getting the word out to your um, to your audience. Turning then to Instagram, Instagram, another um, popular social media um, platform, and this um, enables you to engage with others almost entirely through pictures, although you can put a description with each picture that you post. Um, you can add links um, in there too. Um, but so uh, again, a very different um, way of engaging, um, but depending on what your brand is, um, an important platform to at least consider and understand um, how, it, how it works. Thinking about YouTube then, um, so YouTube is a social media platform that enables you to engage with your, um, with your customers, your clients, um, and, and promote your brand um, almost entirely through um, video. So these days in this fast paced um, world that we seem to be um, living in that gets faster and faster um, all the time, um, not everyone has the time to read content or to, um, to, you know, to actually find the information themselves. So a video um, can be a great way of, of getting the information out to somebody in a way that they can, um, that they can take on board um, quickly. Um, pretty much like we've chosen to do here at Tax Talk UK, we obviously we have the content all on our website. But we understand that not everyone is able to, um, to you know, take on board the information in that way. There is a lot of information and sometimes just um, being able to um, listen to somebody explaining can be easier. Um, but just remember, again, as with everything, it's not going to work for everyone. Some people will find it easier to um, read the information on a website. And so again, going back to the social media strategy that we talked about at the start, you should consider how will actually enhance your um, own customer or client's experience, what is actually going to help them, not what you think um, you would either like to do because it's the easiest um, or because other people uh, are doing it. You should um, try to think um, yourself about what's going to work for your individual business. Finally, then thinking about LinkedIn. Um, so LinkedIn enables you to um, engage with other professionals um, and, and as well as you can also showcase your business through business um, pages. Um, but much in the way that Facebook works, you would actually have connections um, individually with, um, with other LinkedIn users that you, that you know and be able to see their content and engage with them, leave comments, comments um, on, on their um, post, for example, and share your own content. And as with all um, professional networking, LinkedIn isn't, uh, isn't alone in this. 
it is really important to engage with other professionals. Don't just um, set up a profile, um, you know, engage and um, connect with the people that you know, and then just constantly plug your own business, share your own posts. Um, to actually, it should be seen as a networking tool. And for that, you need to engage with others. You need to read their content or at least acknowledge um, it, the more you put into it, the more that you will um, get out of it. If you literally just post your own um, stuff all the time, then people will switch off um, to your post, much as they would um, do when we talked about um, joining groups um, in Facebook. It's really important, um, really across all of the um, channels, um, it would be important to engage. Um, if you're just literally going to post, 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 and not engage, you need to consider as part of your social media strategy, whether that platform's correct for you, because you can also do harm um, by giving a negative impression, giving the wrong um, perception of your business and what its values are by, um, by, by not engaging and really sort of showing what your business is all about. So there's also some other um, growing social media platforms that you'll hear about. Um, we're not looking at them in any detail um, here today, but things such as um, Pin Pinterest, um, Snapchat and TikTok will no doubt, if you're familiar with social media, will all be familiar names to you. So you should, again, um, sort of just explore them. Um, find out about the basics and see if they would actually be able to enhance or add any value into your social media um, strategy for your business. So that just gives you a very basic overview. Um, as I say, links are in the description. And so you can actually have a look yourself and set up your profiles. Um, but remember to learn the basics and before that you actually do that. And then so that's the um, key thing. Learn the basics before you set up a, any profile so you understand how it works and make sure that you're you're actually um, productively using social media um, to not spend a lot of time that in a way that's not going to enhance your business and the platforms that you are using. Um, if you're actually using them regularly as part of your social media strategy, again, just remember to engage with others on that platform to really get the, um, the best out of it. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and will help you to, um, to, to determine your social media strategy for your own business. And just a reminder, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. And, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.